hello everyone good to have you back please if you have not subscribed please like and subscribe to our page we'll always press the notification bell so you always get all our online training it doesn't cost anything please like now today i want to do just an a-line free gun for my daughter she likes it very simple so i don't know you could actually see what i do here a little bit just an a-line all i need the shoulder the bust then i could do a, just to get the waist then i'll go down the hip doesn't matter because i'm going to be an a-line so now this is it i've already spread the clothes I'm about the material i'm using i have my scissors I have my barrels my ruler so let's get started so right away if you could look i have my measurement down already so i'm cutting it in the bias form how do you turn a bias it's like a rectangle like a rectangle rectangle shape so after turning that in a bias form now i've gotten my shoulder my vertical measurement i have my shoulder i have the the chest line then i have my bust line my bust line is eight and a half then I have my half length, which is 13. Then the full length, which I'm dealing with, is 35. So which we have here. So now I'm going to insert my horizontal measurement. So I have the shoulder I'm, I'm, I'm working with is 16. So I'm going to divide 16 by 2. 16 divided by 2 will give me 8. It's 8. It's 8. Then I have the chest line. I've got my chest line. The, the chest or bust I'm using. I'm using bust 31, but I'm going to be adding 4 inches sewing allowance. So that will make it 34. 34 divided by 4. We divide our bust, our waist, our hip all by 4. But our shoulder and our full length is divided by 2. Full length is 35, so it's a fold. So 34 divided by, I could go with my tape. I have 34 here. I fold it again. That will give me half of 34. My half of 34 is 17. I divide it again, making it by 4 to give me 9. So I have the chest as 9. I want to be real free, so I just add half inch to it. Then I will now go straight to my hip measure. My hip here from my waist, which is 13, to my hip, you add 7 inches or 8 inches if it's a teenager. So I'm using, I'm adding 7 inches, so it will be at 19. So let me insert my hip. My hip is, is 34 still, but I'm going to add 4 inches because I really want it to be free. Or I could just connect from, straight from my, from my bust, straight down. So to avoid inserting, you can insert the waist. If I insert the waist, the waist is just... 29 with all the allowance on it. So with my 29 here, divide by 2 with my tape. If you get used to it, you'll be able to use it. We'll have 14 and a half. Divide it again to give you 7 and a half. So if I insert my 7 and a half here, I'll just add 1 and a half inches allowance again. So that's what I have here. So I'll connect all my measurements now. You can see from here. If I'm making sense, then I'll connect it straight down to the full length, which is 35. I really want it to be free, I don't want it to fit it at all. So, we'll see my measurement. This is the front part folded into two. We'll have the shoulder. So, I'll now connect down my shoulder to the chest line. I'm using a free hand right now. So I have my shoulder. I'm going to insert the neck. The neck I want to use is 3 inches. Neck deep of 3 inches still. Then that of the back is 1 inch. I don't want to very deep down. I don't know if you could see here. Then I'll mark the neck depth of the back too. So I have the two neck depth. When I'm going to cut, I'll cut the boot, the neck, of, the neck depth of the back first. Before I cut the back, so this is what we have. I'm going to cut it off now and show you. Okay, like I was saying before, I finished cutting it off. 
Now this is what we'll have here as the front. I use the neck depth of the back to cut it. Hope you can see it very well. This is what we have as our A line, as our A line gown. We'll see it, the neck, the armhole, and the sides down to the hip that side. So now I'm going to use this to cut the back. Okay, we are back again. You can see me very well. I have cut out the this is the remaining pieces. I've cut out the front and I've cut out the back. Okay, so what I did was to place the front on the back and cut it exactly. I don't want to use zipper here because it's already a free gown, there's enough space. But I'm going to be putting, I, I slit the back a little bit so that I can turn it around well and then face it well and put a, a button here. So, so I've finished cutting the front, you can see it well. So I cut the facing for the front. What did I do? You place a piece of cloth, clothing down the front, lay it well, as it is, you can see here. Lay it very well. So once you lay it very well, you trace it out and cut it off to give you the perfect fitting. So I'm going to do the same thing for the back now. But I'm going to be using some gum stay on it so that to be firm including the front so that to be very firm and i'm going to be cutting the pocket too so let me place it now let me cut the back facing because it has a slit on it so see what i did so i'm placing my material here very easy and do it at home yourself get some little gowns like we are around that doesn't mean we tell us we don't need you we still need you we can see those slight simple gowns at home with this period of uh, this pandemic we are facing right now you really need to help yourself at home and be busy so the measurement i need now here is not enough, so I'll turn it again to get enough space for it. So now if you look here, we've got the, you see the cutting here? So now I have the facing for the back. Here's my back. It has a slit in the middle. I used to turn it out. So now I'm going to my machine. So I'll place these two together, the facing and the front body place it together so you now stitch it like this come like this first come like this then i take it down so just i'll bring it for you so we like to begin with the with the front also i've got the facing you can see our facing here very beautiful very easy but i want to gum it first put some st on it finish gumming it and i'll do the same thing to it it together the front facing the front together it has a little bit design here i like it to come out well so that's what i'm going to do now let's go to the machine all right welcome back again we are still on the same gown so i've gone to my machine i've turned you can see the light opening the slight the seat i gave you here you can see my neck neatly done this is the back Neatly done too, you can see. This is the back. I'm going to be putting bra hook here just to hold it for fancy. Then here is the front. I've turned the front very well, you can see. You can see how neatly, how neat it looks, you can see. See the back of it. Turned it to remain. We'll put some stay on it. See, put some gum the both sides, then turned it neatly. So now what is left is just to join the shoulders together then insert our pocket we normally insert our pocket uh two inches after your waist so to sit in well or at the waist depends on what you want so that will be it for today thank you very much for staying tuned with us please subscribe and always press your notification bell so you always get all our online tutorials
Thank you very much. Have a blessed day.